Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or good evening, depending on whoever or whatever region you are in. Um, as usual, I hope you're having a great day, and I hope you are relaxed and enjoying your day in general. Today's video title is going to be Do Not Blame Your Team. And before I get to that, let me open up with two sayings from one of the great people currently living in this planet, that is the Dalai Lama. The first saying, and I quote, says, Karma means action, and actions motivated by compassion is good. To complain that what happens to you is just the result of your karma is lazy. Instead, confidently recall in the advice that you are your own master and you can change what happens by taking action. And that's the first quote. It's an amazing quote if you take time to reflect upon it. The second one is, and I quote, many people think that patience is a sign of weakness. I think this is a mistake. It's anger that is a sign of weakness. Weakness Whereas, excuse me, whereas patience is a sign of strength. You see, these two sayings are amazing and they work so better. They work so much in the competitive environment. Although the Dalai Lama says these things in general, it's funny how these things translate so much into the competitive gaming crew. career in general. My career, your career, whoever's career. Whether you are a pro gamer or just a bronze guy who just casually play competitive, these things are or should be the pillar of how you play Overwatch. You see, the main reason why I've decided to make this video in particular which goes with the series of videos I'm currently making about uh, how to become a good ranked player or competitive player in general, not just in Overwatch, just because I'm focusing on Overwatch currently, but in any competitive game. And this series right now are focusing more on the mental side of things rather than the technical side like map knowledge or uh, how to become good at certain heroes, I think that the psychological aspect of the individual or how you play the game makes, I think, about 70% of how good you are. And no matter who you are, even if you are a pro gamer, like I said, or top 500, if your psychological uh, self is not doing good, if you're not feeling good in general, if you're being angry about something, you're not advanced. So these are the titles of this video I'm making. Today's video, like I said, is all about the team and the amount of people who blame the team. And I decided to make this video because I'm a bit frustrated. I'm frustrated that big and well-known YouTubers who's supposed to be a role model for this community, who's supposed to know this, because this is a fact, this is not something uh, out of an imagination. Anyone with experience in ranked in any game, like I said, not just Overwatch, understand this. Yet, I see these current role models, quote unquote, saying these things. And it's bad, it's bad for the community. If you reinforce these kind of things, people will become toxic. And just like I quoted in the saying of the great Dalai Lama, if you are angry, you are weak. Now, I'm talking about the fact that so many of this great community players blame the team for their actions or the team's action, of course, not your individual actions. I'm talking about the team. They blame the Hanzo for their loss. They blame the Mercy for not healing. They blame the tank for not tanking. 
And they blame the AFK for leaving. They blame the troller for trolling. And you ask me, but those are things that will make us lose. We should be blaming them. Well, no man, you shouldn't. Now, here's why. If you keep focusing on the team, if you keep focusing on the guy who's not doing great, and as you can see the video on the background, I'm playing Reinhardt. I'm not a main Reinhardt. I only play Reinhardt to fill in, to be part of the team. And as you watch my footage, you notice so many mistakes I'm doing. So many mistakes. Now, of course, someone else is going to notice those mistakes. And you will know what happened. They will be focusing on me. Now, luckily, luckily, in this video, there was poor Hanzo with me. And everyone was focusing on the Hanzo. I think this is the uh, Hanzo video. I'm not certain. It should be. But yeah, if it isn't the Hanzo video, um, I was playing Reinhardt and just like, uh, I, I am certain this is the Hanzo video. Now, excuse my poor memory. But yeah, the guy played Han oh no 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 it is the Hanzo video <laughs> thank goodness this guy is a good player and he contributed greatly on the team but he was the subject of disdain people were flaming you should switch despite the fact that he was doing great luckily I was able to convince the guys to tell or to calm down and to understand that he's doing great and he's bringing so much to the team which is something you should be doing instead of doing the same thing and that you have that you can see that that is a lever now the guy had some technical problems and instead of going ham and blaming the team and blaming his pre-made and being angry i try to calm people by telling them it's probably a internet disconnection or something technical and that we did great on the first round despite the fact that we had a lever we can do great now going back to of course the main subject so you see this every day you see the people or you see the players and i am sad to say you see these youtubers big ones many many subscribers having or saying the same classic thing that they shouldn't say I go to play ranked and my team is random, my team is not picking the role they are supposed to pick, my team is not doing great, my team has a thrower, my team has a troll, my team understands that I'm a YouTuber, they know me, so they... You see, they always start with my team, not myself. What are you doing to make a change? That's the thing. You see, of course that... AFK is going to make you lose the game. Of course that DC is going to make you lose the game. Without a doubt, when someone is playing Hanzo, when they never played Hanzo, or they only played a few games of Hanzo and their aim is abysmal, are going to play badly and are going to contribute greatly to the team's loss. But here's the major aspect of why you shouldn't blame your team and you should always blame yourself for loses and always compliment yourself for victories you blame yourself because you can never change what other people do you can never be a force of nature that will somehow influence your team to pick uh, the things you want them to pick and to not disconnect or something so sadly when i see or what I see in general is people being negative when these things happen. You shouldn't do that. The only thing you can do in these situations is to try to influence the team. And like I said, sadly, almost most of the community influence the team negatively. And that sucks. Someone leaves everyone starts being angry everyone starts blaming and it's like a snowball effect if you are being angry and frustrated that will leak to other players 
they too will feel the same way. That's how humans react to things. But if you are positive, encouraging, and have words of try to coordinate with the team, even if you have only five people instead of six because someone left, you can still win, despite what game it is. I've seen this in many other games. I've seen this in Dota. I've seen this in League of Legends. I've seen this in Counter-Strike. And just by being positive, by encouraging the other teammates, I won many, many games where people left. Uh, I even remember the last game I won, which was ranked in League of Legends, where our top player left. Top laner. That's what I'm talking about. And we did great, because we kept encouraging each other. I started by telling the team that we do great, don't worry, we are having a solid composition, that we are not losing, we're not dead too much, so the enemy team is not fed, and we can go back and we can do something about it, despite our top tank, which should be in the front line, is not, not with us anymore. Same thing go for Overwatch. I also won games in Overwatch where there was a disconnection. And see, that's the thing that I'm talking about by not blaming the team. Never blame the team. The second problem with blaming the team is that if you keep blaming the team, if you keep looking at other people's mistakes and never focusing on your own mistakes, you'll never advance. Now, this is a lost aspect, sadly, in competitive where people are much preoccupied by the point system, by the rank system, by the decorations they have. I, I am diamond, I am master, I am grandmaster. It's only your skill that determines those things, not the points in the game. Now, you can stop playing Overwatch for a period of time, stop playing ranked, and somehow you look at your rank and you are unranked. Does that make you a bad player? No, not really. You are top 500. You will always remain top 500. The only thing you are not doing is just not playing the game. You will be queued probably with people who are not top 500. And that's the reason that you should never blame others. It's just a dumb ranking system that it does not represent your current rank. So if you keep focusing on other players, the biggest problem is that you'll be facing is that you're not advanced or you're not advanced as a player. You'll be stuck on your current rank, game after game, doing the same mistakes, not noticing those mistakes. And we get better but noticing those mistakes. Now, recently, I've advanced greatly and I've advanced greatly not because of randomness or because of luck. I advanced because I kept trying to get better at the game. I kept trying to find mistakes that I'm doing, the mistakes that I'm still doing, and actively working to make things better. As a Farah main player, I never focused on the team. The amount of the connections or disconnections I had, the amount of trolls I had, are so much. It didn't matter to me. My objective was not to win, nor to lose. My objective was to better my skill as a Farah. And in order to do so, I had to throw myself in a competitive environment, in a real match. You can do so much by training alone. You need the real pressure of the real match. And by not focusing on those aspects, positivity came in. And I do not get frustrated when I play ranked. Because my objective is, to, for example, is to get as many direct rocket hits as far as I can. That's something that I am still weak at. And as you can see, I always add the title of my journey to master. In order to be master, I need to have a consistent, direct rocket hit with Farah. It's one of the requirements to advance. So if I can't hit those two rockets on that critical support like Mercy, for example, 
that will lead us to defeat. She will read something important or she will use her ultimate and that will make us lose the game. Now someone else is not going to focus on this. They will focus on the team. They will focus on the Reinhardt, for example, for not having the shield up. They will focus on the Hanzo for playing Hanzo. And they will repeat this game after game after game and not having, you know, um, the time to see their own, own wrongdoings, not having the time to improve. Like I kept, for example, uh, I kept switching the mouse sensitivity because I knew that I have it so a bit too much. And those things, those little things kept me from being frustrated. So yeah, I always, this is like something I've taken from older and other competitive games. It's something that I do personally. I always blame myself for defeat. When I see the defeat screen, I ask myself, what did I do wrong? Even if there is five people who disconnected, what did I do wrong? So yeah, you, you like I said, you will ask me, but man, the entire team left. There's no way you can win. Yes, I know. It's it's something that I will do. It's part of the ranked experience. There's nothing we can do about it. But if you focus on our own mistakes, we will be better players. We will be stronger. And if we are stronger, we will have an easier time winning and gaining victory. And I do remember clearly the words of Many rank player, pro players in League of Legends, for example, that I focused, or they, not focused, I watched on the streams and uh, in interviews and stuff, they always said, do not start a sentence with you or my team, because if you start the sentence with you or my team, you are automatically the problem, no matter what the circumstances are. And if you go and watch them, these pro players, whether it is Overwatch, whether it is League of Legends, whether it is Quake Champions, whatever competitive games you are watching right now, go and look at that pro player and see how they react. Of course, not all of them do this, but most of the well-known pro players are calm people. They always say, oh, I didn't do this right. I didn't do that right. I missed that. I missed this. You notice how they focus on themselves more than the other players in the team. You see them having fun as a result when they are playing, you know, solo ladder. You'll see them trying to accomplish something, uh, you know, trying to have hit rockets. You think that they are just having fun and they are trolling or something. No, 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 no. They are training. If you see someone, for example, uh, I've seen Yesterday, I was seeing Shroud, who didn't play Counter-Strike for a long time. This probably is an older video of his, but he was with Silver because he didn't play for a long time and he decayed. And instead of, you know, just being negative and why is the ranked system like this? Why am I in Silver? He was having a good day. He was using the Uzi as a weapon. And you'd think, why would he do that? Well, first of all, he was having fun, so he would have in the most of the game, but he was still training. He used that opportunity to become better. He did not blame his team for being bad, and trust me, as other silver players who were playing with him, they were far, far away from his own level. Like, you cannot even compare. So, imagine... If you are diamond in Overwatch and you get with bronze, and most of us will be raging. Why is the system is gonna put me in with the bronze? I'm gonna lose now. There's no way I can win. Well, if you are a good player, and trust me, I've seen this with other pro players, for example, you will carry your match alone. As an example, I'll give you um, what's his name? Is an ADC, ex ADC from TSM uh, in League of Legends. I, I can't remember his name, but I've watched the game of him where there was two levers. 
and he absolutely destroyed the enemy team. They could never bust him. They were tilted. They were blaming each other. And he was just smiling and destroying them, despite the fact that it was 3 versus 5. You see, now that's the power of knowledge. That's the power of positivity and that's the power of being good at the game. And you be good at the game by focusing yourself and being positive and always training. If you focus on these aspects, you'll get better. If you focus on the negativity, if you focus on the fact that you lost the game, you'll get angry, you'll tilt and you keep tilting because you're only playing with your muscle memory. You're not trying to improve. You're not trying to think of strategies. You're not trying to help your team and leak some of that positivity to them. No, you're leaking negativity. You're insulting. Someone else is going to have a bad day. You see the snowball effect. You see the chain of events that will occur. If you think about it, this happened today for you, for example. This will happen tonight if you play ranked. But heed my words and try this. Try to be positive. It might not work for one game, but it work for 10 others. Try to focus on yourself. So, yeah, we're losing. Oh well, what can we do? Try to think of a mini objective for yourself. Whatever hero you're playing, try to train to do something. Also, I'm playing that Widowmaker. No problem. I try to get headshots on that Genji without him reflecting my uh, shots. Whatever, we're losing. So what? Uh, I will try to not have my shield being destroyed as a Reinhardt despite the fact that we're losing. I'll try not to die as McCree, despite the fact that we're losing. And so, you see the screen of defeat, it's not a problem for you. You'll just start another game, and you're not angry, you're not frustrated, and you'll eventually win. So there you have it, guys. Never blame your team for the defeat. Always focus on the positive aspect of things. Always focus on getting better yourself because at the end of the day no matter how bad your team is no matter what hurdles are in your current match there is nothing you can do about it you can only get better as a person you can only influence yourself as a person and that's it so yeah instead of negativity go positive I hope you're having a great day, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you on my next video. So until then, take care of yourselves. I hope you are achieving the current objective of the season in Overwatch, and I hope to see you in the game. So have a great day.